Hey guys, Misto here, and welcome back to the 100 Day Challenge starring Wolfgang. We are on the final episode. So, let's get back to work here. Uh, we're pretty much done. Pretty much done, guys. It's pretty awesome. Go us. Go team. We got there in the end. Hey, there's that saving. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, oh, why you? Why is it always a snake? Just hit me. I don't care. Probably takes the same amount of time to dodge or not. So dodging would just be slightly better, but since we heal anyways. What's the point? Oh my goodness, all the food's collected. Let's just grab it then. Oh my god, why? There's so many fish everywhere. Alright, so guys, this is our final episode. Assuming we don't die, do we have enough one-ups to guaranteed survive? I know we have a touchstone. Yeah. We actually don't. We never built a... We kind of stopped building meat effigies. They're not really needed. Maybe my uh, hubris will get the best of me one of these days, but... We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Don't pick up the ice. Oh my god. Why is there so much garbage? I am literally a garbage man right now. Here. Hey, I made I made a banana pop. Can't stop the banana pop. Pop. You can go in there. Your long-term storage. I don't know why those other things are there. Here, become rot. That's not the rot chest. That is. Oh, we do have some seeds. Uh, let's get those somewhere else. Maybe up here. Yeah, that's where we got this wood. For some reason, we have an awkward amount of wood. And just one cut. Oh. Or one cut read. I don't know how that happened. Oh, here's some of you. You go over here with the spider drops. How many of these have we used? Just these three? Alright, these are what we're going to need. So, to prepare for a world hopping, you need to make sure that you have four of these. And four of these. So that you can make that. Do we have our... Yep, we have the Shadow Manipulator ready to plant down as soon as we get over there, which will let us make that. We also want to have a fresh hammer for our first goal. So let's go ahead and make a brand new hammer. Oh, now that's going to take us, what, six grass, three rocks. Okay, so let's go get some grass and rocks. Let's get lots of rocks. Our grass, there we go. Whoa, that was scary. We should probably move these up here where they're definitely safe. We're going to go ahead and add this into this. This is the stuff we're guaranteed bringing over. Let's see. We have bamboo over here somewhere too. Oh, man, get. We're just going to have to slowly start moving things. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's see. So these are these. This has that stuff, so let's go grass here. Hmm twigs here, bamboo there, that's not going to be rot then, we go here, grass twigs bamboo, uh, bamboo can also have vines because we're not going to have that many vines or bamboo, so we'll just stack those for now, this was these, there we go, excellent, oh wait, what did I put these, there we go, put those away too, okay. Slowly bring an order to all this chaos. Looks like most of our coffee plants can't examine. Fine, I don't care. I don't want to examine anyways. Do you want to know what you were gonna say? Oh, there's a bunch of cut vines. Get those. There's a bamboo. Okay. So we're gonna do this slowly but surely, methodical way. Gotta keep things organized. Uh, I don't think this is where we're gonna keep bamboos forever, though. Maybe over here? Get them. Or no. Reeds. That's where we're gonna. There's no bamboo there. We're talking about reeds. Okay. Well, let's see. We gotta get a place for rocks. Rocks have gotta go somewhere. I like rocks to be pretty accessible. Well, let's put rocks. Hmm. Let's put rocks here for now. But that's not even the edge, so. So we'll put flint in there. We need to keep flint on us, though. Let's just make these, like, bottom three. Are we doing, like, this and this? Oh, this is 
This is a bad mix, a bad mix of stuff. Let's get some sanity back. We're going crazy, man. Going crazy, crazy on you. On you. I don't want to be mighty. I just want to be not insane. Come on, dude. There we go. Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. And then we can start moving these. Oh, some rocks. For now, I guess all our rock stuff can go together. We don't have that many. Actually, we do. Like, there's no reason to stack these. All right, let's get... Let's get gold over here. Pop you on. See, gems have to go somewhere. You know what? Uh, this is spider stuff. Let's move these over. God, we have so much to talk about. Now we're just talking about how we're going to organize. Okay, just come here. Excellent, okay. Let's see, most functional rocks. You can go... Gold. Gems can go down here. City and it'll be a gem for now. You can go with the gold. You can go with the flint for now. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So over here, you down here. There we go. We are getting this done. Okay. Slowly but surely, order is being brought to this chaos. These will be done pretty soon. In the morning, let's go take the bees out. Let them walk for a bit. You know, get some exercise. They're getting, they're getting kind of fat. I mean, he called them fat last episode. And he's not. He ain't wrong. Those bees are getting lazy, man. So we gotta have a place for boss drops at some point. That's where these would go. That's gonna go with murdered things. It's just boat supplies. That's extra food. Ugh, I don't know where to put all this right now, so we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it there. Oh, we're losing lots of sanity because we're wearing these wet things. Why is the sea sack not waterproof? What? What garbage is this? Oh my god. What? Seriously? That's... That's terrible. That's terrible design. And they should feel bad for that. That makes no sense. It should either always be wet or never be wet. It does not make any sense to hedge that. Well, thanks for the fish. Boys. Doesn't matter though, we can just use Surf and Turf to fix our sanity. Uh, we probably have more garbage. Not more garbage, more rot in our fridge right now. Because I think a bunch of that monster meat finally went bad. Oh, well, it's really, really close. Let's go ahead and make some Surf and Turf then. Although we could also make a fire, cook our stuff. Hey, it's day 98. We're so close. Ooh, look at all the stuff we could trawl up. Go ahead and pop that on. There we go. Okay, these should be going out. Let's get these uh, bees out. Get them oot in the boot. Making us some honey. Give me my fly, honey. Ooh, look at all of those fish. Holy crap. Am I ever going to stop being amazed by how much fish there are? Seriously, dude, come on. Dude, dude. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh man, yet. This is a rot chest. Yeah, that's a rot chest. Wonderful. Oh, surf and turf. Love you. Get in my body. Oh, make me sane again. Yeah, all the way. Max. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, yeah. We did it. Wee. You can go there. Everyone needs a rot chest. This has got to go somewhere else. I guess that's a transitionary. We'll call that transition. Not really. <laughs> Go ahead with this. We'll have those ready for the journey when we need them. All right. At this point, we're pretty much ready to go. You guys are already back inside. Get out. Get out of your bee house. Make more honey. Super micromanage these guys. How dare they try to take a vacation? Get back to work. Look at that, they already made one. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's coming in. Oh, look at this timing. Oh, what a perfection.
professional. Oh, totally not an accident. Completely an accident. Okay, sweet. Got that delicious jerky. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's talk about what we've learned so far. Let's get a bit cocky. We're on day 98. If we died, we wake up on day 99 at our touchstone. So if we survive today, we've technically won the 100-day challenge. Which I don't think it'll be that hard. There's no challenge anymore. No challenge remaining. Uh, so, for our world hopping goals, on the first trip, we have one major goal, and that would be to... I think we can kill him. Yeah, we're fine. And that's going to be to map the world while also creating the Seaworthy so we can come back. That's the reason we've made the Shadow Manipulator. That's the reason we have the materials ready to make the Seaworthy as soon as we find it, including the hammer. Because we're already bringing a hammer, and because we're already exploring a lot, and because I want to bring this with me just in case, I want a lot of food storage, and we're not bringing a bigger backpack, we want to limit what we're going to pick up along the way. So, for the first trip over there, at least with the way we're currently playing, I would recommend getting... We don't have any twigs. I put them all away. I would recommend getting... It's... This one. Yep, I remembered. I'd recommend hammering down pig houses, because pig houses tend to be near the things. So you can pick up the things, right? You can hammer down the houses that you see, bring back the hammered materials, and you're focused on one particular goal. Get the platform thing up and running so you can world hop as soon as you're ready. Get the world mapped out so you know where everything is, which means you find all of the things, you find the platform, you find the sinkholes, you find the deciduous biome, which is going to have a lot of the uh, fireflies in it, things like that. And it's pretty awesome. There you go. That's, pretty, that's a nice, complete build. It's a well-thought-out thing to do on your first trip, which doesn't over-invest your inventory. Uh, on your second trip, uh, you're most likely going to be ruins diving since it'll likely be autumn. Uh, it depends on how things work out. It's supposed to be autumn when you first hop there. Might not be. If it is autumn, it's a really, really, really easy time to go ruins diving. You don't need anything special. Just go in there and do it. Uh, so go ahead and do that. As Wolfgang in particular with coffee and a walking cane, you, you can clear like all three ruins basically no I mean they're, they're usually pretty big but you can clear at least a full one probably a second full one and then when winter comes around you're gonna go into mission three because winter is actually very very important for the long con uh, you really want to kill it you really want to kill deer clops uh, that means you need to be on the surface for him to spawn my mighty belly no oh, eat these rotting jerk yeah stay mighty like, you really want to clear deer clops, you really want to get yourself a tam shanter but the tam shanter only matters once, and you've already got a walking cane, so not that important. But still, it's a mission. It's something to do. It's nice. You know, so, you want to do that. Just deer clops, mactus, fireflies. And the reason you're doing fireflies in winter is because nights are the longest. So that means you've already cleared your ruins, so you know how to go down and get light bulbs. You can keep your miner's hat running all the time. Your light bulbs spoil slower because it's winter food spoils 50% slower. Ooh, let me take this off for now and just, let's pick some grass. Let's pick some grass, easy time. Right, so that works out. So it's very easy to run around at night with just your miner's hat on. You have basically infinite light. This is a really weird pattern to pick. What are you doing, Wolfgang? I'm not controlling this, I'm holding space bar. Oh, this, this dude's going wild. What are you doing? Wolfgang, you madman. I can't. Oh, I can't abide this. Okay, he's kind of he's kind of become more sensible as of late. All right. But it's a great time because the night's long, because it's easy to keep your light source going. It's very easy to go and pick up your fireflies. Uh, you usually don't want to stay more than an entire year. I mean, honestly, you probably want to hop before a year is done. You don't want to deal with that. You don't have to deal with summer. You're not even building a base. You're just hopping there to get things done and coming back over here to drop off your spoils. So... Really, I think winter is the best time you want to do that. Uh, you could continue it in spring. Spring still has fairly long nights at the start. But you really want to get your your uh, Firefly game up and running. And that also leaves you on the surface such that you can fight Deerclops. You can run back and forth to your Mac Tusk to get Tam O'Shanters. 
And yes, it's the time of Shanners. Like, you're Wolfgang. Or at least we're Wolfgang now. You might not be Wolfgang in your game. I don't know. Maybe you're whoever you are. But if you're Wolfgang, killing Mac Tusk is super trivial. You literally can do it by filling your belly and shooting him with the the blow dart that he drops on death. Then you can take that blow dart and go to the next camp and kill the next one. Like, you do enough damage to literally one-shot him. So it's a trivial fight. So rather than using sewing kits on your Tamo Shanners, you could just collect, like, 20 of them. And 20 of them is an insane amount of days. It's 25 days for each one. 25 days. Wow, we have 100 grass. Whoa, it's night. <laughs> just run out. This is fine. There we go. Oh, right, this doesn't build charge. It's hurricane season, so we can just tear through these. Ooh, does it means we don't get the light source, but it's never going to overheat, so we should do this. That's pretty sick. Man, volcano tools are so good in hurricane season. Why aren't we using volcano axe? What are we doing with our life? Let's go get a let's get an obsidian axe. Why am I not doing that? What a fool I've been. Well, anyways, yeah, those are those are your main three missions. Is map the world, get ready to world hop, or get it ready such that you can world hop as soon as it's convenient. Um, and, you know, get your Seaworthy back so you can just come back here. You don't even need to worry about food, you don't need any kind of base, you don't need an outpost, you don't need anything. Guys, we've technically officially beaten the challenge. If we die, we'll wake up on day 100. There we go, and we're Wolfgang with full everything, so there's always that. Anticlimactic victory! Woo! Alright, so those are your three missions. Map the world, prepare for hoppage. Two, clear the ruins, because honestly, that's why you're resetting Reign of Giants to begin with. That's the whole point in resetting Reign of Giants over and over and over and over again, is to get a ton and ton and ton of gems. That's why you're turning your shipwrecked world into what is essentially a closet. A... A, uh, a storage space. You just chuck stuff in the chest here or on the ground, and you're done. I could pick you. I could eat you. When have we ever eaten berries? Oh, I'm hungry. No, eat the berries quick. Oh, good. Woo! That was scary. We were almost not mighty. Oh, wonderful. Good. I'm gonna eat this. Excellent. Okay, okay. What was I doing? Stuffing things. Okay. Get these loaded up. Why are you awkward like this? Here, take these. Oh, let's see. You get those done. Dun, 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 dun. Get a wood chest over here for now. I don't know if that's going to be a permanent thing. You can also have these. Excellent. Now, technically, we don't need to be carrying around these tools that we have no real desire to have. But whatever, keep working on this. Oh, the jerk's done! Oh, get it! Be a professional! Oh, we're so professional! We're so good! Alright, so those are going to be your goals when hopping. And uh, that's basically what we're set up to do. We have a ton and a ton and a ton and a ton of uh, silk, which is what you're going to need. You're going to need nets when you go over there, and it's going to be much better for you to just bring um, silk grass and twigs because you're going to be making a lot of nets and you can stack fireflies all the way to 40 so it's not like bringing a bunch of nets saves you space in the long run technically it does but eh eh and actually no I don't think it even technically does I think it's just better to bring the three materials to make a net like sometimes it's better to make tools ahead of time to save backpack space not in this case. This is this is one of the cases for sure that you don't want to do that. What are you doing on my base? Get out of here, dude. This is my base. This is my home, fool. Don't step to my territory. What are you doing? Where you think you going? Merman? <laughs> Pause on that as I forgot. Uh, oh my god, we're already in the evening of our penultimate day. You better not glitch out. He's glitched out. I'll attack you, John. Why did it, say, why did it have a name on him? That's messed up. Alright, so that guy's trying to crash my game. We gotta keep him from doing that until we finish. Because we don't want to have a crash in the last episode. You better, you better get a fish. He already got a fish. What are you doing? I might have to kill you. Five, four, three, two. I'm killing you. 
Yeah, his house is still alive. He'll probably make a new one. I'm sure they respawn. They wouldn't have houses if they didn't. Fluff for thorn! I'm pretty sure that's what's causing it. Something's happening in the AI and shipwrecks. That happens whenever the uh, vents won't go off. It seems to happen when those guys are trying to fish but can't fish. Maybe he fished. Was that him? I don't know. I can't tell the difference. How much time do we give this guy to see if he's the messed up one? I can't trust you anymore. Oh my god. We're gonna have to kill him. We're gonna have to kill him. It's the only sane solution. It's the only... It's the only humane solution. Otherwise, he just sits there never... Never able to do what he wants to do. Oh, that's not the one. This is the one. Are you gonna be able to fish? Are you gonna be able to do it, man? Oh, it's John! See, something's messed up. He shouldn't have a name. Wait, they do have names. They all have names. I didn't know they had names. I hear puppies. Hey, let's fight puppies on our final day. Let's, let's get huge. He's like constantly eating jerky. I'm ready for you dogs. I'm huge. Ah! Ah, now I'm frozen. Bite me and I'll kill you. Now you dead. Ah, now you're dead. I am Wolfgang. I am mighty. No one is mightier. That was easy. That was, that was so sad. They made, what, three of those little doggies? Oh, those poor doggies. They couldn't handle the wolf gang. They could just get one shot. Oh, well. Rest in peace, them. Did our coffee run out? Yeah. Oh, well. Sucks to be them, I suppose. You can just go on the rot chest, I guess. Well, no, we can make one more surf and turf with you. We kind of need to. Whatever, we'll just immediately eat them. Get our sanity back. That wind is destroying the fire. Oh, let's see, put these away. Oh, we have nowhere for teeth in particular. Oh, if this is kind of our drops area, I guess teeth can go here for now. Rest in peace, fire. You tried. You didn't try very hard, but you did try, and we have to acknowledge that at least. Whoop. Oh, wonderful. Oh, hello. Thank you. Uh, reeds are going in. That one. Okay. So as for Wolfgang and Shipwrecked, uh, there, there's too much food. We have so, look at this honey. That's from two bee boxes that we barely micromanaged. And we had, do we, did we have more options? I think we had one more. Yeah, we had one more we knew of. We didn't explore the entire map. We could have had more bee boxes. If you just, like, sit on your bee boxes, you'll have more honey than Wolfgang can eat. We also sat... And if you do this in a swamp, you get all these fish, too. Wolfgang is a very, very easy mode for Shipwrecked. When the hounds come, you just murder them. No armor doesn't matter. Why am I... Oh, because I'm going down. I was like, why am I losing HP? Right, because we're getting smaller. We're shrinking with time. That happens. That's normal. We're not actually... We're still at a full HP. 100%. So, basically, Wolfgang is a character with zero downside in Shipwrecked, and his upside is that he does double the damage of anyone else and moves 20% faster? I think it's 20% for his buff. It might be 10. Fairly sure it's 20% faster from his natural speed buff. So, he is a faster character who murders things twice as fast and has no downside. That's pr pretty... that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, it's better than a lot of other characters. I mean, I guess technically, hey, day 100, woo, pat on the back. Oh, that was more like a slap on the neck. That hurt. Oh, I got to stretch after that. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Next time, we'll just do a little clap and a half, little. Nice job. We did it. Woo. Made it to day 100. Very, very easy. Uh, so, Wolfgang is still a powerhouse and shipwrecked, but... He really has nothing special going for him. 
Uh, it's very easy to succeed on him, but I still think it would be difficult to thrive on him, particularly as a new player, or if you're not used to playing Wolfgang. He has nothing special going for him. Uh, WX has his overcharge season. That makes him a god. Uh, Wickerbottom has access to books, and the more clever you are, the higher, like, a, she has a higher skill ceiling. So there's more she can do with her books, and they're a little bit, there's that little bit extra, they got that little bit of extra power in Shipwrecked, because she can use Applied Horticulture on coffee, so she never has to sit around waiting for it. She can stock up on coffee and go, and just head over to Reign of Giants. She could bring coffee with her, plant it, and then grow it right there. She has that extra power, that little bit of push. And with fewer mighty foes to fight, with only Tiger Shark, who's kind of a joke, although he does devastate her. With Seal Nato, who's kind of a joke. Uh, I mean, he does devastate her, but we didn't get to see it. Although he doesn't kill her as powerfully as you would think. Because he doesn't get the bonus damage on the bonus damage on the Cutlass Supreme. That sentence sounds weird, but it's definitely right. He doesn't get the bonus he doesn't get his bonus damage on the bonus damage of the Cutlass Supreme. Cutlass Supreme does 27? 37. 37 more damage, I believe. Something like that. To uh Seal NATO. He doesn't get to multiply that damage. That's added on after the fact. So he doesn't get it multiplied, but it's still a da it still has a base damage of 68, which gets doubled, and then has like the 37 added on, or 32, or whatever the number. I don't know the I don't know the exact number. He has it's a lot of bonus damage, but because of that, that means characters like W or Wolf means characters like Wes benefit more from the Cutlass Supreme than Wolfgang does. Just saying, like technically a Dark Sword is not that much, is not as significantly worse against Seal Nato than a Cutlass Supreme as it would be if W, if Wes were using both, sorry. Why do I keep trying to say WX? I got WX on the brain because he's our lord and savior in Shipwrecked. He's just way, way, way too strong. So anyways, Wolfgang's definitely, definitely a powerhouse. And I see no reason he's not going to be in the highest tier. But he might be just... He's definitely strictly below WX. WX is too ridiculous. I'm not entirely sure of how to place him versus Wickerbottom. Again, Wickerbottom has that special late game. And that special late game impacts Shipwrecked. And because there are fewer bosses, she doesn't need to have the physical power that Wolfgang has. And Wolfgang's physical power is largely wasted I mean, you can use his power to kill spiders, but... I mean, so Wendy can kill spiders. Wendy can kill spiders, okay? She's pretty good at that. Just get Abigail and she murders them. It's like, whatever. So, there's just not enough... There's not enough enemies to really use his strength. But there's so much food, he doesn't have a downside. So, honestly, Wolfgang comes across as more of a vanilla character. He's generically good at Shipwrecked. But he may not be as amazing as I thought when I started this playthrough. A lot of the food that we were getting, a lot of the power we were getting, was because we based at a very powerful location. We had like three or four fisherman huts. We had two bee boxes that we were micromanaging, so we ended with... Oh god, not that! We ended with four full stacks of honey, almost five full stacks of honey, so almost 200 honey. We ended with... Hundreds of jerky. I mean, we got 40, 80, like about 100 jerky. About 100 jerky. So it's spoiling. That's how much food we had, right? And this is an insane location we got. Again, for the last time, Yarktopus, Slot Machine, Seaworthy, Volcano. What? What? The only possible thing that could have made this better. Oh, and of course, you know, Fisher Merms, the three that we had here. The only possible thing that could have made this better if we were a greedy piggy would be as if we had a, uh, a Brainy Sprout. Otherwise, this would... I mean, this already is a base that I would be excited to come back to and to play as just making a mega base with it. It's such a good location. Just keep resetting Reign of Giants. That's why we started playing like this at the end. And there's a good chance we will come back to this save 
and actually do some world hopping. But for now, we're going to focus on the 100-day challenge. We're going to get our other characters. I think the most surprising thing about this playthrough is that it made me realize Wolfgang may not be as strong as I thought he was. His power is largely underutilized. So even though he doesn't have a downside, he doesn't have much of an upside in this one. It's not like every season he has to fight a boss and the boss is very strong and killing it fast is a huge boon. This is Tiger Shark. It's an optional boss. You really only have to kill Tiger Shark once. I mean, technically, you could collect eyes. You could get uh, the super, super spyglass and use those in the caves to help you find the ruins faster. Use them in the ruins. They do work in the caves and ruins. Uh... Does it work in the ruins? The ruins is permanently night. I don't know. I would have to check that code. I don't think... Is it permanently night in the caves? I don't think it's permanently night in the caves. They definitely work there, though. I would have to test that to see how they work. It might be online. That might be something to Google after this. But you can make those, I suppose, if you kill the tiger shark more efficiently. That's a boon. But between coffee and, like, overcharge... You can already explore way better, right? There are already better ways to just explore the ruins and caves pretty quickly. PDQ. And Wolfgang does have his speed. I don't want to underemphasize that. So he's he is better than generic. He's definitely, he's definitely first, maybe second tier. Oh my god, it would hurt so bad to put Wolfgang in the second tier. But I can't think of anyone who's actually... I mean, I can only think of like Wolfgang... Or bleh, I can only think of WX and Wickerbottom who are almost certainly strictly better than him otherwise I don't know maybe it's just that there's not enough challenge for him isn't that weird he's like too strong that he can't actually use his strength so characters who excel in other parts of the game are stronger because those other parts of the game are still relevant it's just that combat is weaker I mean killing the quacken faster doesn't mean anything really doesn't mean anything. That's a joke fight. Killing Tiger Shark faster really doesn't mean anything. You kill her once and you're good. You're set. You can make your sea sack. You can make your Dumbrella and you're done. There you go. Done forever. Sealnado is the only random boss you might have to fight on a yearly basis. That's one boss every year. And she already has a weakness that every character can exploit. And Wolfgang uses that weakness the least well. And you could fight her on a boat to ignore her suction... Which means that his enhanced health pool and his ability to heal better doesn't really matter if you can just fight her on the boat. Oh my god. It really is that just combat sucks and shipwrecked. But at the end of the day, Wolfgang has zero downside. There's too much food. And he moves faster. And that's good enough to be first tier. Almost certainly. We'll have to weigh our choices, see if he ends up being... Maybe he'll be like an in-between tier, between S and A. A tiers are tier 1 and tier 2. He'll be like tier 1 and a half. Not quite good enough to be up there with WX, but not quite enough to be down there with the likes of, like, Wilson. Anyways, guys, it's been a really fun playthrough. I really enjoyed Wolfgang this time around. I don't think it's just because of the world we had, like, the amazing world gen. It's just, like, the character's growing on me. When I started this game, I wasn't that into him. I didn't like fighting that much. I preferred... The more tricksy ways of like, oh, you just use traps to kill spiders. Super inefficient, but I enjoyed it. If you enjoy something, there's nothing wrong with doing it. You don't have to do everything efficiently. Sometimes things can just be fun. But it was really fun this time around. And it's really nice to be like, oh, hounds are coming. Let me just grab my weapon and one shot it. Boom! And he has some. Those are huge breakpoints. Killing a hound in two hits means you don't have to dodge. You only have to dodge one bite and you're good, right? So if you take even three hits to kill a basic hound, you have to dodge two bites. If you have to take two hits to kill a special hound, you have to dodge at least one bite. Whereas he has to dodge none, he just runs at the special hound. That's insane. That is a huge bonus for fighting hounds past the 100 day marks where they start spawning more frequently. So at least there are hounds he can fight, but there's no real true opponent. In a linked world, yes, for sure Wolfgang is the first tier. Because going into Reign of Giants, you're going to fight the bosses, you're going to be killing the Ancient Guardian, 
you're going to be killing deer clops at the very least to get the eyes, which are very useful because you want to be able to make the Houdini Ashutis because they are awesome and really cool decorative pieces and can be used in some farms. Anyways, guys, this has been the 100 Day Challenge with Wolfgang. Uh, I believe this episode's going out on a Friday. That's really cool because that's whenever we stop. Uh, that's because we're doing the five day uploads Monday through Friday now. So that means on Monday we're going to start a new character. And uh, we only have a few more to go. We only have a few more to go. I actually don't remember exactly which ones we have to do, but at the start of next episode, we'll talk about our options and why we picked the character we picked. Anyways, guys, if you like this 100-day challenge, if you were excited to see Wolfgang crush through 100 days and be ready to go to Reign of Giants, smash on that like button. If you have any comments or suggestions, especially about things you want to see me doing on characters in the future, uh, by the time this episode airs, I will have begun recording the next series so we are not the next series next season of this series so we will already have the next character picked but let me know about things you want to see on other characters we have a few left we have a few left and if you guys want to see me try something out if there's a technique you've heard about or any kind of secret pro tips you want to let me know about let me know whenever i did my weber playthrough i got a lot of tips from the community I had one viewer at the time who really loved Weber, and he's like, you should try these things. And I was like, okay, we'll do them. And that turned out pretty cool. That was pretty cool. So leave them down below, guys. Let me know. Let me know what you know. And we'll, uh, we'll put it all to the test. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the next season. Let's got a sum Goodbye, Wolfgang. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs>